स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सी वन फिजिक्स क्लास आई होप यू आर ऑल फाइन एंड काइंडली टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ योर फैमिली रिस्पेक्ट योर पेरेंट्स योर एल्डर्स लव योर यंगर वन ट्राई टू हेल्प द नीडी पीपल अराउंड यू ओके इन प्रीवियस वीक we have started the second chapter kinematics we will going to continue this chapter the sub topics of the chapter which will be discussed today are distance time graphs and speed time graph before discussing the objectives keep this in mind that we will going to consider that the objects they are moving in a straight line so if a body or any object moves in a straight line the magnitude of distance and displacement will be same distance and displacement they will going to have same magnitude so the behavior of distance time graph will be equivalent to displacement time graph similarly if a body moves in a straight line magnitude of speed and velocity will be same it means that characteristics of speed time graph or velocity time graph will be same so the objectives of the current lecture are by the end of the lesson students will be able to plot and interpret speed time graph distance time graph recognize from the shape of a speed time graph when the body is at rest when it is moving with uniform speed when it is moving with uniform acceleration when it is moving with non uniform acceleration calculate the area under a speed time graph and the area under the speed time graph that will be equivalent to the distance travel for the motion with uniform speed or uniform acceleration we will going to start with distance time graph whenever we have to plot a graph we are going to draw two lines one vertical and other horizontal vertical line represent y axis and horizontal line represent x axis after that the axis they will be labeled so since over here we have distance time graph along y axis distance will be labeled along with the unit so the symbol can be d it can be s and the unit si unit for distance or displacement is meter then x axis will be labeled by time time is given by the symbol small t and along with the unit it will be labeled and the si unit for time is second so the values of distance or displacement they will be plotted along y axis and the value of time will be plotted along x axis after that you have to choose a scale for example uh, according to the current values the scale along y axis can be one big box is equal to 10 meter and along x axis it can be one big box is equal to 5 second so now we have to see what does this straight line distance time graph shows this graph is said to be a straight line distance time graph it starts from a zero value so when time is zero distance is also zero when time is 5 second distance is 10 meter when time is 10 second the distance covered is 20 meter when time is 15 second the distance covered is 30 meter so you can observe that after every 5 second the distance is being increased by same amount and that same amount is 10 meter the difference of the distance from 0 to 5 sec second is 10 from 5 to 10 second it is again 10 20 minus 10 is 10 from 10 second to 15 second it is again 10 how the change in distance is 10 30 minus 20 is 10 so what does this graph show about the distance body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time the distance is increasing equally in equal interval of time in the present case the distance is increased by 10 meter after every 5 second 
okay the next thing which we can calculate from distance time graph is speed how to calculate speed speed is calculated by taking the gradient so gradient of distance time graph will be always equal to the speed of the object in order to calculate gradient we are going to select any two points on the line the straight line of the graph for example over here point a and b they have been selected they have been marked then we're going to draw a triangle having vertical line and horizontal line vertical line represent change in distance and it will be equivalent to the length ef horizontal line represent the change in time and it will be equivalent to the length cd on x axis so gradient will be equivalent to the speed of an object the other word for gradient is slope and that will be equivalent to change in distance over change in time speed is distance over time so over here we're going to use change in distance over change in time and change in distance over here is equivalent to ef and change in time is equivalent to cd so ef from the graph we can see that it is equivalent to 30 minus 10 30 minus 10 and cd along x axis we can see that it is a difference of 15 and 5 15 minus 5 so it becomes 10 20 divided by 10 becomes 2 meter per second so if we calculate gradient at some other two points we will get the same answer showing that if we have a straight line graph straight line distance time graph speed will be always constant throughout so this straight line distance time graph shows that the body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time and the gradient is constant gradient is equivalent to speed if gradient is constant speed is also constant and if speed is constant it means that acceleration is zero acceleration is equivalent to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time if speed is constant it means that initial velocity final velocity have same values when two same values they are subtracted answer is zero so acceleration will be zero in this case the body is moving away from the starting point so if a person moves from from his house for example to a shop in straight line and he is moving from the house to the shop the distance of the person will going to increase if the distance is increasing it means that the person is moving away from the starting point so keep this in mind whenever the distance is increasing we're going to say that the person is moving in straight line and the person is moving or the moving object is moving away from the starting point okay the next graph the next graph we have to discuss the situation when distance is not increasing equally in equal interval of time but it is increasing so both for both these two table the body is moving in straight line away from the starting point because the distance is increasing whenever the distance is increasing you're going to say that the body is moving away from the starting point over here when time is zero the distance covered is zero when time is one the distance covered is two when time is two seconds the distance covered is six meter when time is three seconds the distance covered is 14 meter and so on so what is the change in distance what is happening to the chain from zero to one the distance the change in distance is two two minus zero is two from one to two the change in distance is six minus two four right and from four to five second the change in distance is 62 minus 32 so answer become 30 so we can observe that the value of the speed is increasing in the second table the value of the speed is decreasing so in for both the table the values of distance they are increasing 
non-uniformly and for the first table the change in distance is increasing so speed is increasing for the second the change in distance is decreasing so speed is also decreasing now we have to see what is the shape of the graph for the first table and for the second table this will be the shape of graph for the first table this will be the shape of graph for the second table since we are discussing distance time graph distance will be plotted along y axis time along x axis for both the graph the distance is increasing non uniformly with time and for both the case speed is not constant it is non uniform if we calculate speed by taking gradient at two different points the values will not be same showing that speed is non uniform so for the first graph speed is increasing how to know that speed is increasing we're going to ca calculate gradient at two different points i have drawn two gradients over here this the value of second gradient is more you can observe the length of the vertical line so the length of the vertical line for the second gradient is more as compared to the first so this graph shows that distance is increasing non uniformly with time and speed is increasing for the second graph again the distance is increasing non uniformly with time but but speed is decreasing how to show that we're going to take gradient at two different places for same time interval so observe the length of the first gradient of this vertical line observe the length of the vertical line of second gradient for the first gradient the length is more so over here the value of gradient will be more as compared to the second so the value of gradient is decreasing as time increases and gradient is equivalent to speed gradient of distance time graph will be equivalent to speed so as gradient is decreasing speed is also decreasing and if speed is increasing it means that velocity is increasing if velocity is increasing the body will be accelerating and positive acceleration will be produced and for the second case speed is decreasing it means that velocity is decreasing if velocity is decreasing the acceleration which is produced is negative and negative acceleration is said to be deceleration or retardation okay the next graph now this is the situation when the person is moving from the shop back to the house in straight line so when the person is moving from the shop back to the house we are going to say that the person is moving in opposite direction and the distance will going to decrease the distance from the shop to the house this time will going to decrease so whenever the distance is decreasing we are going to say that now the body is moving in opposite direction that is it is moving towards the starting point house was the starting point so in this case the distance is decreasing when time is 0 second distance covered is 10 meter when time is 1 second the distance covered is 8 meter when time is 2 second the distance covered is 6 meter so as time is increasing from 0 to 5 second the distance is decreasing so again we have a straight line graph but this straight line is not starting from a zero value origin it is starting from a certain value on y axis so for present case the line will going to start from the 10 meter value on y axis and it will going to end at 5 second on x axis because there this distance covered is zero but time is 5 second so if this is the shape of the graph this graph shows that the distance of the body is decreasing equally in equal interval of time after every second the distance is is decreased by 2 meter right and we're going to say that the body is moving in opposite direction it is moving towards the starting point now we have discussed this before as well that 
if we take a gradient of distance time graph that will be equivalent to speed or velocity so over here if we calculate the gradient it will have a constant value throughout but it will be negative for example over here velocity has been calculated by the formula change in distance over change in time for the time interval 0 to 1 so now over here final velocity is 8 and initial velocity is 10 final is smaller than the initial so we will get a negative answer 8 minus 10 becomes minus 2 so minus 2 meter per second velocity we are getting a negative answer negative answer of velocity means that velocity it has a direction and negative value means that now the body is moving in opposite direction so if we take gradient at some other two points we will get the same answer and it will be a negative answer so this straight line graph which is starting from a value on y-axis and then it ends it cuts uh, the x-axis this straight line graph shows that the body is moving in opposite direction that is towards the starting point distance is decreasing equally in equal intervals of time gradient will have negative constant value and gradient is equal to speed or velocity so velocity or speed we're going to have negative constant value gradient is constant therefore velocity is also constant next graph this is this graph is said to be horizontal line distance time graph we have a horizontal line parallel to x-axis or parallel to time axis now what does this graph show that the distance moved by the object with time is zero over here we can see that when time is zero distance covered is 15 when time is one the distance covered is 15 when time is two the distance covered is 15 when these points are plotted we will get an horizontal line so after covering a distance of 15 meter the car is stationary or the moving object is stationary it is not moving therefore the distance moved by the object with the time will be said to be zero and the object is said to be at rest it is stationary it is not moving gradient of a horizontal line is zero and gradient is equivalent to speed if gradient is zero speed is also zero over here speed has been calculated for different time intervals for example for time interval 0 to 1 speed is equal to change in distance over change in time so over here both initial and final distance they have same value 15 minus 15 1 minus 0 answer becomes 0 similarly for, for time interval 4 to 5 again the change in distance is 0 so if change in distance is 0 speed is also 0 so this is a horizontal line uh, distance time graph which shows that the object is at rest the gradient is zero and gradient is equivalent to speed to speed is also zero next graph over here now we're going to do the recap of distance time graph this graph is the combination of all the four graphs four or five graphs which we have discussed so what is happening at the region at an area which is marked as a over here now what is happening the distance is increasing non-uniformly and gradient over here is increasing if gradient is increasing speed is also increasing because gradient is equivalent to the value of speed gradient of distance time graph is equivalent to speed now the region which is marked as b that is a straight line start straight line showing that distance is increasing equally in equal intervals of time and the gradient of the straight line will be constant if gradient is constant speed is also constant again we have a curve if distance is not increasing equally in equal intervals of time then the shape of the graph is a curve so over here 
the distance is not increasing equally in equal intervals of time it is increasing non uniformly with time and the gradient over here is decreasing if gradient is decreasing then speed is also decreasing now this is an horizontal line horizontal line means that the body is at rest it is stationary if the body is not moving then gradient is zero gradient of horizontal line is zero if gradient is zero speed is also zero that is the body is at rest okay over here we have a higher blue line straight line and a lower pink straight line both these line shows that the distance is increasing equally in equal intervals of time and the gradient of both uh, of both these two line will be constant right but what what is the difference the gradient of this blue line which is higher will be more and the gradient of this pink line which is lower than the blue line will be less so for this case this blue line shows that the body is moving with higher constant speed and this pink line shows that the body is moving with a low constant speed okay the next horizontal pink line it shows that the body is at rest the distance covered with time is zero therefore the body is at rest gradient of a horizontal line is zero therefore its speed is also zero next we have this pink line which shows that the speed has negative value or the velocity has negative value over here the distance is decreasing equally in equal interval of time whenever the distance is in decreasing it means that the body is returning to its starting point over here the distance was increasing when the distance is increasing the body is said to be moving away from the starting point in this case in this case and in this green line also in all these three cases the distance is increasing and the body is said to be moving away from the starting point for this portion distance is decreasing therefore we're going to say that now the body is moving in opposite direction that is back to the starting point for this green line the distance is increasing non uniformly with time and the gradient if gradient is taken at two different points of this green line it will going to show that that the value of gradient is increasing if gradient is increasing the speed is also increasing with time okay next we have to discuss speed time graph whenever we going to plot a speed time graph speed will be plotted along y axis and the values of time will be plotted along x axis so this graph is said to be horizontal line speed time graph if we have a horizontal line this will going to show that the speed is constant and the values will be like this if time is 0 velocity is 15 meter per second when time is 1 second the velocity is again 15 meter per second when time is 2 second the velocity is again 15 meter per second so if we plot these point we will get an horizontal line a line parallel to x axis or time axis so this graph shows what that speed is constant throughout the body is moving and it is moving with the same value of speed same value of velocity now gradient of an horizontal line is always zero for speed time graph the gradient is will be equivalent to acceleration gradient of distance time graph is equivalent to speed whereas the gradient of speed time graph will be equivalent to acceleration so gradient of horizontal line is zero therefore it means that acceleration is also zero over here the value of acceleration has been calculated from the time interval 0 to 1 so the formula of acceleration is change in velocity over change in time change in velocity will be 15 minus 15 because over here initial and final velocities they have same value 
So 15 minus 15 is 0. So final answer is also 0. Similarly, for the last two time intervals, again, acceleration has been calculated. Again, we are getting the 0 answer, right? Okay, we can also calculate the distance traveled from a speed time graph. How we are going to calculate the area under the graph? For example, the shape of the present graph is equivalent to rectangle. So the distance travel will be equivalent to area of this rectangle. And the formula for the area of rectangle is length into breadth. So over here, length is equivalent to 5 seconds and breadth is equivalent to 15 meter per second. Multiplying these two values, second and per second will be cancelled. Unit left will be meter and the SI unit of meter is uh, as a unit of distance is meter and we are getting the unit meter. So the answer becomes 75 meter. So from a speed time graph, we can calculate speed by looking at the y-axis. We can calculate acceleration by taking the gradient of the graph and we can also calculate the distance traveled from the speed time graph by calculating the area under the graph so this is an horizontal line speed time graph which shows that speed is constant gradient is zero therefore acceleration is also zero and the distance traveled will be equivalent to for the present case area of rectangle next graph this graph is said to be a straight line graph speed time graph and it is starting from zero speed initial value of the speed is zero now what does this show that the speed is increasing equally in equal interval of time. We can also observe from the table. When time is 0 seconds, speed is 0. When time is 1, speed is 10. When time is 2 seconds, the speed is 20 meter per second. When it is 3, the speed is 30 meter per second. When time is 4 seconds, speed is 40 meter per second. When time is 5 seconds, speed is 50 meter per second. So after every second, the speed is being increased by 10 meter per second. And how to calculate the acceleration from speed time graph? We're going to calculate gradient. For gradient, we have to select any two points on the line. I have selected the starting point and the ending point. And then we have to form a triangle, right? The vertical line will be equivalent to the change, the change in speed. And we're going to observe the change in speed from the y-axis. Horizontal line will be equivalent to the change in time from 0 to 5. Right? So gradient will be equivalent to acceleration. Acceleration is equivalent to change in speed or velocity over change in time. So change in speed is 50 minus 0. Final value is 50 meter per second. Initial value is 0. And the time interval will be 5 minus 0. So the final answer is 10 meter per second square. So if we calculate acceleration at any other point, we will get the same answer. And we, also, we can also calculate distance traveled by the body by calculating the area under graph. Over here, the shape of the area below this straight line is a triangle. So distance travel will be equal to area of triangle and formula for area of triangle is half into base into height. Base is equivalent to 5 seconds and height is equivalent to 50 meter per second. And the answer become 125 meter. So this is a, this graph is said to be a straight line speed time graph. And this graph gives us the information about the speed of the body, the acceleration and the distance traveled by the body. So what is happening to the speed? Speed is increasing equally in equal intervals of time. And acceleration will be equivalent to the gradient. And over here, gradient is constant. Therefore, acceleration is also constant. Distance travel for the current graph is equivalent to area of triangle. And the formula for area of triangle is half into base into height. By calculation, we are getting the answer 125 meter. Next graph. Now, in this case, the speed is decreasing equally in equal intervals of time. Over here, we have a straight line again. But 
this straight line is not starting from origin, it is starting from a certain value which is 10 meter per second from y axis. And then the final speed is zero. So what is happening to the values of speed? It is decreasing from 10 to 8, 8 to 6, 6 to 4, 4 to 2, and finally zero. So after every second, the velocity is decreasing by 2 meter per second. Right, so what is happening to the speed of velocity? It is decreasing equally in equal interval of time. And gradient over here will be constant, but it will going to have a negative value. And gradient is equivalent to deceleration. Negative gradient will be equivalent to deceleration. It will be equivalent to acceleration, but since we are getting the negative value, so therefore, Positive acceleration will not be considered. Negative acceleration will be considered. Acceleration will be the, given the name deceleration or retardation. So gradient is equivalent to acceleration and acceleration is equivalent to change in velocity over time. So uh, over here, the gradient has been taken from the starting point till the ending point. And this, this is a triangle form. Change in velocity is equivalent to 0 minus 10. Final is 0 and initial is 10. Change in time will be equal to 5 minus 0. So answer is equal to minus 2 meter per second square. And we can also calculate the distance traveled by the body. That is over here again. The shape below the line is triangle. So it is equal to area of triangle. Half into base into height. So half into 5. 5 is the base. And time is the time is, uh, is equivalent to the base and um, height is equivalent to the maximum speed, which is 10. So the final answer is 25 meter in this case. So this is a straight line graph, but, but it is not starting from origin. It is starting from a certain value on y-axis. And then the final speed over here is zero. So what is happening to the speed? Speed is decreasing equally in equal intervals of time. Gradient in this case will be constant, but it will going to have negative value. Gradient is equivalent to acceleration. So over here, deceleration is constant. As gradient is constant, so deceleration is also constant. And distance travel can be calculated by area under the graph. For the present graph, the shape of the area under the line is triangle. So it will be equivalent to area of triangle. Next graph is this. So each speed time graph give us information about speed, about acceleration and about the distance travel. So in this case, what is happening to the speed? Speed is increasing, but non-uniformly. We can see that the values of speed are increasing from zero to two, two to six, six to 14, 14 to 32. And uh, so what does this show that? That the change in speed is the change in velocity is increasing so what is happening to the speed speed is increasing non-uniformly and acceleration is equivalent to gradient gradient is increasing with time therefore acceleration is also continuously increasing with time magnitude of gradient over here will be equivalent to acceleration Next graph, this graph also shows that speed is increasing non-uniformly. We can observe the value. The values they are changing from 0 to 20, 20 to 38, 38 to 50, 50 to 58, and then 59. So speed is increasing non-uniformly because over here the change in speed is 20. Over here the change in speed is 18. For the next two values, the change in speed is 12. So what is happening to the change in speed? It is decreasing. So if change in speed is decreasing, change in velocity is decreasing, it means acceleration is also decreasing. So speed in this case is increasing non-uniformly with time. Gradient is decreasing. Therefore, acceleration is also decreasing with time. The next graph, this graph shows that 
Now the speed is decreasing non-uniformly, but when speed is decreasing or velocity is decreasing, we have deceleration. So deceleration is taking place when we calculate the gradient at two different positions, their values will not be same, but it will be negative showing that acceleration is negative and it is deceleration and it is taking place at increasing rate. Observe the values, the values they are increasing from minus one to minus 2.5, minus 3.4, minus five. So this graph shows that speed is decreasing non-uniformly and the gradient is it is taking place at an increasing rate this graph shows that deceleration is taking place at an increasing rate the value of deceleration is increasing next the next also shows that the speed is decreasing non-uniformly but but deceleration is taking place at decreasing rate observe the values they are changing from minus 1.1 to minus 0 0.5 then minus 0 0.4 then minus 0 0.3 so over here speed is decreasing non-uniformly whenever speed or velocity is decreasing we have negative acceleration and negative acceleration is deceleration how to calculate the value of deceleration or acceleration that is equivalent to the gradient of the graph so in this case the gradient is its value is is decreasing so this graph shows that deceleration is taking place at decreasing rate okay over here we have horizontal line parallel to time axis this happens when the body is not moving it is in the state of rest if it is not moving it means that speed is zero velocity is zero and if velocity is zero it means that both initial and final velocity they are also zero and acceleration will be also zero next we have to do the recap of speed time graph what is happening in the region a over here velocity or speed is increasing equally in equal intervals of time and the gradient of a straight line is constant so gradient of speed time graph is equivalent to acceleration if gradient is constant it means that velocity is also constant and we will get positive value of gradient showing that acceleration is also positive but velocity is increasing equally in equal interval of time for the section b we have a horizontal line this line shows that the body is moving and it is moving with constant speed if speed is constant then gradient is zero acceleration is also zero gradient of a horizontal line is zero and gradient of velocity time graph is equivalent to acceleration if gradient is zero acceleration is also zero velocity is constant means that both initial and velocity initial and final velocity have same value when two same values are subtracted answer is zero so acceleration also becomes zero next section which is labeled as c over here what is happening to the velocity it is decreasing equally in equal interval of time so in this case when we calculate the gradient we are going to have constant value but negative gradient is equivalent to acceleration if gradient is constant and negative acceleration will be also constant and negative the last portion the last section is the D, which is the horizontal line along x-axis. What does this show that the body is in the state of rest because velocity is zero. Velocity is zero, body is stationary, therefore gradient of horizontal line is zero and if gradient is zero, acceleration is also zero. Okay, this graph shows the calculations how to calculate acceleration for the section labeled as a so acceleration is equal to change in velocity over time taken so what is the change in velocity this initial velocity is zero final velocity is 20 
So final velocity minus initial velocity over change in time. Change in time from the section A is from 0 to 10. So the acceleration become 2 meter per second square. So over here, gradient is constant and it is positive. So acceleration is also constant and it is positive. For the section labeled as B, the time is changing from 10 to 15 seconds. During this time interval, the body is moving with constant speed. That is 20. If speed is constant, then acceleration will be zero. For, for section B, acceleration is zero. For section C, now the velocity is decreasing equally in equal interval of time. Over here, the gradient will going to have constant value and negative value. So over here, we have deceleration. Deceleration means change in velocity over change in time. Over here, final velocity is zero, but initial velocity is 20. So 0 minus 20 over 30 minus 20. And then answer become minus 2 meter per second square. For section A, we have positive acceleration. For section B, we have zero acceleration. For section C, we have negative acceleration. This is the three situations given and uh, corresponding distance time and velocity time and acceleration time graph are given. So if the body is in the state of rest, we, we are doing the recap of all the graphs which we have done. So when the body is in the state of rest, this, this is the shape of distance time graph. It will be an horizontal line parallel to time axis. And if body is in the state of rest, then in that case, we will going to have horizontal line along x-axis for velocity or speed time graph. And if velocity is zero, acceleration will be also zero. It means that if we have acceleration time graph, then we will get a line along time axis because acceleration is zero. So if body is stationary, for distance time graph, we will get a horizontal line above time axis. But for both velocity time graph and acceleration time graph, we will get a horizontal line along x axis. Next is the uniform motion means over here, gradient of distance time graph is equal to speed. So since it is a straight line, it shows that speed is constant. So if speed is constant, distance time graph, its shape is a straight line starting from zero value. Initial speed is zero. And if speed is constant, then velocity time graph, it has a horizontal line parallel to x axis or time axis. And if velocity is constant, then acceleration is again zero. And we will get a line along time axis. Velocity constant means that initial and final velocity have same values. And formula of acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So if two values have, if uh, two physical quantities, they have same value when they are subtracted, the final answer is zero. So if speed is constant, distance time graph shape will be a straight line starting from origin. And if speed is constant, the shape of the velocity time graph will be a horizontal line parallel to time axis. And the shape of acceleration time graph will be a line parallel to time axis. The, the next situation when speed is not constant. So if speed is not constant, the distance time graph will be a curve. Over here, this curve shows that speed is increasing non-uniformly. And this graph shows that speed is increasing. Velocity is increasing equally in equal interval of time. And if velocity is increasing equally in equal interval of time, then acceleration is constant. Gradient of velocity time graph is equivalent to acceleration. So acceleration is constant in case of straight line it means that the shape of the acceleration time graph will be a horizontal line parallel to time axis. This is again a comparison of the graphs which we have done. The first graph is a distance time graph. 
the second is the velocity time graph the third is an acceleration time graph so in distance time graph if we have curves the graph is starting from a curve it shows that distance is increasing non uniformly but this curve shows that speed is increasing gradient of distance time graph is equivalent to speed speed is increasing if we have a straight line straight line shows that distance is increasing equally in equal interval of time if distance is increasing equally in equal interval of time then the gradient of straight line will be constant and gradient is equivalent to speed or velocity so it will be constant right next is if velocity is constant then the shape of the velocity time graph will be a horizontal line if speed is increasing over here the shape of the velocity time graph will be a straight line over here again what we have a curve so this shows that the distance is increasing non uniformly but but gradient is decreasing therefore velocity is decreasing so in velocity time graph what will be the shape for this it will be a line starting from a certain value y axis and ending on cutting the x axis will this portion show that velocity is decreasing next over here at this point the body is at rest when the body is at rest velocity is zero right next situation when over here what is happening the distance is decreasing when distance is decreasing we will going to say that the body is now traveling in opposite direction it is moving back to the starting point so over here if we calculate gradient will we will get negative value and gradient is equal to velocity so if velocity is getting negative value it means that now the body is moving in opposite direction right over here the value of gradient is a little less negative that is it is smaller so over here will value of velocity will be smaller then we have an horizontal line so for distance time graph if we have an horizontal line this line shows that the body is in the state of rest the body is at rest the velocity is zero and acceleration is also zero if we have straight line graph of velocity time graph the the gradient of this straight line will be constant so and it will be positive it will be equivalent to gradient of velocity time graph is equivalent to acceleration so acceleration is positive so this shows that we are getting some answer and of acceleration and it will be positive when velocity is constant we get a horizontal line in velocity time graph and if velocity is constant acceleration is zero this line shows that it it is zero this is all i hope the today's lecture is clear to everyone Thank <laughs> you.